Hello everyone and welcome to the latest version of Shimiji, available as always from Kilkacon.com. Head on over to Kilkacon.com slash Shimiji and click the download now button. You'll get the latest version for your very own. So what's new in this particular version of Shimiji? Well, there's a few things. First and foremost, if you're on a Japanese locale PC, uh, Shimiji will now work on that computer again. There was a problem that's now been resolved. Secondarily, there is a minor issue if you had a Shimiji that you'd clicked and held in the air that had then dropped down and was roaming around and you let then let go of the mouse button, that will now, uh, you know, no longer just drop randomly having it already landed. So let's get into some of the more interesting features. So first and foremost, you could see in here, there's a new resume animations button. That's because I've actually paused all these particular Shimiji's. So if I resume them now, they'll now actually begin to move around again and I can then pause them and they'll all stop. You can also do this individually. This guy's stuck in midair. We can resume that particular one and this one and leave that guy stuck in paralysis. Oh no! But now it's time to demonstrate the most interesting feature of this update and that is hotspots. So you can see this guy sitting down here peacefully. I'm going to give him a pat. Ah, oh, good little mushroom man. And he's happy. We can also do some other things, like this guy here. We can grab him by the legs and drag him around. Oh no! But if we were to pick him up normally, he'd still be picked, dragged around by the head. Interesting. There's also one more action I've put in here. So if we just jump this guy to the top, and we click him on the head, he'll drop down with a weird swirly thing. It was meant to be a tornado, but turns out I'm actually no good at drawing tornadoes. But nonetheless, that's the feature. It's all about being able to have these clickable areas and you can see the little mouse cursor changing as the uh, a hotspot is available. So how does this work? Oh, you might be wondering. I'll show you. So first and foremost, you can head over to actions.xml. So there's this new tag that's been added, the hotspot tag. It is a shape, an origin, a size, and then a behavior that it's linked to. So the behavior works like most of the other things, like affordances, for example, that'll just jump to any behavior you've got defined. So, you know, I've made drag two here, sit down and blush, etc., etc. The shape can either be a rectangle or an ellipse. And you obviously will know what those are. And the rest is relatively explanatory, but I've made, uh, self-explanatory rather, but I've made this little chart to help uh, explain. So think, of the, this one here, you know, the, the petting of the head, right? That is an ellipse shape as demonstrated in this example here. So if I just uh, drag this over here so you can see both at the same time. So we can see here that the, oh, wait, let me actually go get to it. There it is. So the origin is 2222. So we can see here, it's actually 22 down and 22 across. That's that there that little magenta dot. That's where to start drawing the shape from. And then the size is the width, which is this yellow line, and then the height, which is the cyan line of, oh, thank you, thank you, Mushroom Man. Please don't yeet away my example, thank you. <laughs> um, but that's the height there. So the cyan line is that 40. So yeah, pretty self-explanatory as you can see. The, uh, if there's any area that's outside the actual Shimiji, like here, for example, you don't have to worry about it. The program already takes care of it. You just have to define an area. And of course, if you went for a rectangle instead of the ellipse, it'd be that purple space instead of the red space, as, as you can see here. But that's pretty much it. I'm looking forward to seeing what you can come up with with this new feature. There's plenty of possibilities. I've shown a few here with the petting and a few other things. And be sure to make use of the uh, next behavior list mechanic as well. That's how I managed to pull off the blushing. But yeah, that's basically it. This uh, template will be available for you to download. So I'll chuck it onto the Patreon as a free download, like I've done with the uh, transients and the cuddles and everything else. Uh, you may have to click around a bit to find it. Like I haven't made it a paid option, but uh, again, you may have to just rummage around a bit to get to it. Nonetheless, though, thank you all for your support. It's always fun to see what you people come up with. And enjoy Shimiji. And I'll see you next time right here.
Kilkacon.com. Thank you.